What's the laziest side hustles for beginners to make money online? That's one of the most common questions I get asked. And honestly, who doesn't want to make good money with minimal effort, all while having the freedom to work from anywhere in the world, right? For example, Nicaragua or anywhere else you want to go. So as a side hustle tester over the last few years, I'm going to use my knowledge to finally answer this question and to help you decide which online money-making method is truly laziest. I'll be judging one I'll be judging each one in five categories. First up, category one, the learning curve. This is how long it takes you to actually get decent money. How long does it take you to actually earn decent money? Ideally, we want this to be as short as possible to keep things truly lazy. Next up, second category, fulfillment. This is all about delivering what it is you're selling. Okay, and we want this to be as simple as possible. Then number three, scalability. Okay, this measures how easy you can actually grow and make more money without piling on extra work for yourself. And after that, we have startup capital. Okay, how much money you'll need to actually invest upfront and get going in your side hustle. And finally, we're looking at risk level. You, higher risk usually means more stress, which even if it's mean, even if it's more, even if it's easy money, it can still drain you over time. So today I'm going to be covering money making methods that can realistically bring you in a hundred dollars a day or over a hundred dollars a day so there's no online surveys or transcript or transcription sites today they pack they pay next to nothing okay so they just end up wasting your time anyway so today we're going to talk about real stuff okay method one freelancing okay this is all about using your skills to earn money online by working directly with clients there are tons of skills you can choose from including video editing, social media management, graphic design, copywriting, website development, and much more. This is great because you get to choose your projects and your work schedule, which gives you a lot of time and flexibility. So it's perfect for those who are wanting control over when and where they work. In my opinion, the best one to focus on is video editing. As due to the rise of digital content, there's a real shortage of great editors at the moment. And, but the real question is, how lazy is freelancing? Well, we're going to take a deeper look here. For example, the learning curve, I'm going to say six months. To start making good money with freelancing, you'll probably need at least this amount of time to learn and build a portfolio. Okay, the most popular skills like video editing, design, and copywriting have tons of tutorials on YouTube which can help you level up very quickly. For fulfillment, I'm gonna say this is pretty hard, okay? Dealing with clients one-to-one -one can be very a bit tricky. You know, it's tough to do, and especially when you're passionate about a project and clients wanna kinda of drag it down and make a whole bunch of changes that you don't, you know is not good for the client, but they still want them. So, next, scalability. I'm gonna say this one is pretty limited. In freelancing, your income is tied directly to your time. So this means there's a cap on your earnings unless you either charge higher rates or hire other people to do the work for you, okay? And then the only way to scale is to build a good client base as this will lead to steady work. Now you can do this on freelance sites like Upwork and Fiverr. Fiverr is my favorite. It's ideal for beginners as you can list services without needing to bid on jobs. Upwork might be a bit more competitive, um, but it often has higher paying projects. Okay, now startup capital though is pretty good. Okay, it's very, it's practically zero actually. If you already have a computer and internet access, then you're nearly set. And some, some tools like Adobe Creative Suite or CapCut for design or video editing can be a great investment as well. But there are free low cost alternatives like Canva as well that can get you started with video editing. Now, your biggest investment here is your time with freelancing. And finally, for risk, this is pretty low, mainly because there's very little upfront cost involved and you're directly paid for each project. So the only real risk is potentially inconsistent income. <coughs> so you might, excuse me, so you might have to put in some effort initially to build up a steady stream of clients. So overall, this is definitely not the laziest method but, however, freelancing could be a great way to start making money online, especially if you're willing to put in the time, build up your skills, and a client list. 
Now, method number two, Airbnb arbitrage. This is a money-making method where you rent out property on a long-term lease and then rent it out short-term on platforms like Airbnb. Now, essentially, you're acting as the middleman, okay? Taking advantage of the price difference between your long-term lease and the short-term rental rates. Now, this could be a great way to generate passive income without having to own the property yourself. You'll need to get permission from the owner, and but you'd be surprised how many landlords are okay with this, okay? They either don't know how to operate Airbnb or they don't have the time to do it themselves. So how lazy is Airbnb arbitrage? Well, this one has a, about a one to three month learning curve. And getting the hang Airbnb arbitrage doesn't take too long. You need to spend a bit of time learning about the platform, understanding local rental laws, and getting familiar with property or management, okay? The bulk of the preparation time will be spent finding good properties, looking for places near tourist attractions, universities are good, or business districts. Websites like AirDNA can give you insights into rental prices and occupancy rates. You'll also need to reach out to the landlords and let them know you plan to sublet a property on Airbnb. Now make sure you get permission, their permission in writing, as you don't want them to find out later and cancel your lease and after you've put in all that hard work. So getting it up and running an Airbnb is generally um, not too difficult in terms of fulfillment. I would say medium difficulty. While it can be relatively hands-off way of making money, you're still gonna have to deal with some customer issues. For example, from time to time, guests might have questions or concerns, or, and you'll need to manage check-ins and cleaning, things like that. It's not as easy as just putting up a listing and forgetting about it, but it can be manageable with a good system in place. That's why it's a good idea to use management software. Um, for example, Guesty or Hostfully to streamline your bookings, communication and check-ins. And this will save you time and help keep your guests happy, which is huge when it comes to Airbnb. Now here's where it gets really exciting because scalability is very high. One of the best parts about Airbnb arbitrage is that it's highly scalable. So you can keep adding more properties to your portfolio and there's no really limit to how many you can manage. It go, you just have to make sure that you have the time and resources to keep everything running smoothly. So here's the bad news though, okay? <laughs> this is gonna require at least five to 15K of startup capital. Uh, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because you'll need a decent amount of upfront cash to secure a lease, cover any initial furnishing costs, deposits, and possibly play for cleaning services. And finally, the risk level is also pretty high. So the main downside to this method is the upfront cash you need to invest, okay? So however, if you take advantage of the management tools that I mentioned earlier, it can be relatively hands-off, okay? Saying that, I reckon we can find an even lazier option. So let's keep going to the next one, method number three, okay? eBay shop. This is a great way to make money by selling products online. You can sell anything from vintage clothing, electronics, handmade items, or even get rid of stuff you don't need. With millions of users, eBay offers a massive marketplace where you can reach potential buyers without needing uh, to set up an actual shop in the street, which is huge. But the question is, how lazy is eBay shop? Well, let's dig deeper. The learning curve for this is around two weeks. So relatively short. Getting started with eBay is pretty straightforward. Okay, before diving in though, think about what kind of products you'd want to sell. So, so are you into vintage clothing, collectibles, electronics, or something else? You can then use eBay's search function, okay, to see what's popular and in demand in your chosen niche. Then you just need to create your eBay seller account and then source your products, okay? And as I mentioned before, you can start with, um, with things in your house that you don't want anymore, or your mom's house, or your friend's house, or you could even order items you've seen selling on eBay from DHgate. Now this process shouldn't take more than a couple of weeks, okay? Now fulfillment, 
The fulfillment, I'm, I'm going to say this is a medium difficulty. You have to send your products out yourself. You might run into some customer issues as well. Okay, from time to time, like returns or inquiries about products. <clears throat> and in my experience, it's always better to send a replacement or issue a refund on eBay, even if you suspect the customer is trying to scam you. Um, it's just simply better business to keep your eBay account in good standing. Now, um, these kind of th situations used to really stress me out on eBay. However, now I've just kind of learned it's the cost of selling items online and there's no getting away from it. So that's just the way it is with that. Now, the scalability of this one is very high. You can continue to add new products and there's really no limit to how many items you can sell. As you start to make more money, uh, you might even want to consider branching out. Uh, you could go to other platforms like Etsy, Amazon. Alternatively, you could start various eBay shops as well in different niches. So it really grows. I'd say you need at least 500 bucks of startup capital to get your shop off the ground. Okay, you'll need to use this initial money for stock. And depending on what you'll want to sell, $500 can be a reasonable starting point. Okay, now you can find good deals at thrift stores, garage sales, or even wholesale suppliers. And I'd say this is um, a medium risk. Okay, this risk comes from the fact that you're putting money into stock that might not sell right away. So, however, if you're smart about your choices and you know about the, uh, you know about the products relatively, you have some background knowledge and stay on top of trends, you can really reduce that risk. I'd say the eBay shop method is winning so far and it's pretty lazy money-making method so out of the three i've talked about so far it's probably the laziest however it's lacking in a few categories okay so let's keep going let's go to some better categories number four affiliate marketing now this is a great way to earn money uh, by promoting other people's products or services you get paid a commission for every sale made through your referral link it's a win-win so you help someone sell their products while earning you a little something for yourself okay there's no need to handle products or do any customer service so let's just see how this stacks up against the other methods okay the learning curve for this one is super short i'd say two days and all you really need to do is sign up to different affiliate programs that you're interested in and you can use sites like amazon associates clickbank and my favorite impact now, I'd recommend going on these sites, seeing what companies are offering the best commissions, okay, and then you can start thinking about how you can get people to start using your links, all right? So, for fulfillment, I'm going to say this is very easy. Now, once you've shared your affiliate links, your job is pretty much done, okay? The, everything's just hands-free after that. You won't be responsible for fulfilling orders or dealing with customer complaints, which is fantastic which makes this one a pretty stress-free stress way to earn some extra cash. The scalability of this is also very high. You can promote as many products as you want. Okay, you can keep racking up those sales passively. And in the past, the go-to strategy for scaling was paid ads on Facebook. But these days though, uh, you're much better off just focusing on organic short-term form, short form content, okay? The amount of free reach you can get is insane. And like, just look at Andrew Tate, the way he skyrocketed in popularity. Now, tons of people were clipping his videos, posting them on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, and while including their affiliate links under his videos to his online course. So some of these kids were making thousands of dollars doing this a month, a month. But now I'm not promoting his course and I don't, you know, I'm not into him. I don't like him, but it is worth noting that it's a great example that affiliate marketing has been around for ages and is still going strong. So you can use similar tactics, okay, to earn some decent money for yourself. Now, in terms of startup capital, I'd say you'll need at least mm, 250 bucks. You can definitely start for less, but that's assuming that um, you don't want to create the content yourself, okay? Now with $250, you can get some solid short form content edited and you can promote it to your affiliate products. Okay, start with organic content is a smart move. Okay, uh, you can always dive into paid ads later. 
Uh, it sets a strong foundation with, without breaking the bank. And the risk with affiliate marketing is super low. This is because you're not holding any inventory, all right? And you have minimal upfront costs, which is super. It's one of the best business models I've seen. And you won't have to worry about unsold stock or customer service, which makes affiliate marketing a low pressure way to earn some serious money. Saying this, I think the last method, though, we're about to talk about is even lazier, okay? So the easiest way to earn, learn, by the way, Okay, before I get into the last method, the easiest way to learn affiliate marketing is with my free first commission challenge. You can just go to my profile link and take, take the challenge there. There's a free course. You'll need some email marketing software. And if you register through me, you can get your first month for two bucks. Anyways, all right, let's go on. So after you opt, okay, so number five, what's the easiest and laziest method? AI Shopify store. Now, setting up an AI-built Shopify store is a great shortcut for anyone to looking to start e-commerce without the typical learning curve. With this approach, you can set up a store, have winning products selected for you, okay, automate inventory and fulfillment, and all the thanks to the power of AI, the learning curve is practically zero. Okay, this is this is as beginner-friendly as it gets. Now, heading over to head over to buildyourstore.ai and click start your free store. And the tool guides there will walk you through each step, beginning with the prompt for basic details, like your name and email. And then you'll be asked to choose a niche, okay, with, with uh, popular options like fashion, electronics, travel, pets, whatever. Take a look. Selecting a niche that aligns with your interests is always gonna make sure that the store does better. You can make the store easier to promote in the long run if you're actually interested in the products. So the AI helps you with the store, the aesthetics, giving you options for banners, layouts, uh, color schemes to make you shop and look professional and appealing. Now, once you're ready, connect to Shopify by following the prompts. And then this makes the process incredibly affordable to test out since the platform walks you through each step. So you won't need any technical knowledge to get started. It's pretty, it's pretty beginner friendly. And now for fulfillment, it's very easy as well. This is assuming you register for auto DS. Don't worry, the build your store website will prompt you to use this. Okay, so it takes care of everything. Now from adding trending products to your store, um, and updating information details like prices and images, it does it all. And when a sale comes through, um, Auto DS ships the items straight to your customer. It's pretty crazy. And especially, it's especially useful if you're looking to make passive income as it removes the need for you to keep track of inventory or personally ship products. Now, for scalability, this one is unlimited, right? Much like with an eBay store, uh, an AI built Shopify store is practically unlimited in its potential to scale. You can use Auto DS to continually add new winning products keep your store fresh, updated, and since they handle shipping, you can grow the store uh, without worrying about logistics, okay? No headaches. Now the startup capital is super low, under a few dollars, so I'm really a no-brainer. Now, no, now, risk level is almost none, so with such a minimal upfront investment, the risk level here is as low as it gets, okay? Even if you decide this method isn't for you, um, the low cost to try out makes it a no-brainer. So if you're looking for low effort, highly scalable way to make money online, an AI built Shopify store might be your best bet. And it's passive income that you can manage from anywhere without the need to be an influencer, okay? Now, you know, or invest heavily or manage shipping yourself. And if you wanna know what to do with your money, um, then if you want to know what to do with your money every time you get paid, then you'll want to check out more side hustle ideas that I have where you can invest your money in things like S&P or whatever. But that's this topic for another day. If you want to see that dossier, I made it a 54 side hustle dossier. You can get on my profile link. Go check it out. And is there any questions before I head out? Anything? Anything? No? Okay. Well, you can always message me later if you did have questions. And um, by the way, for those of you that want a business set up for you where you don't have to do anything, I do have a business called Business in a Box. It's basically a turnkey business where you just press the button 
and press go and then it starts generating money I set it all up for you um, if you're interested in that uh, message me and we can talk about that just message me the word biz and we'll go from there anyways thanks for watching guys I uh, appreciate your time and I will see you tomorrow from Nicaragua all right talk to you later